Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a traumatic cataract. The patient is a 40 years old male. He sustained perforating corneal as well as crystalline lens injury about four days back. The corneal wound has been nicely repaired by my colleague. And today I have taken up this case for removal of this traumatic cataract and implantation of a foldable intraocular lens. The main incision has been placed just posterior to the limbus and this is a very nice self-sealing tunnel. And now I am using this 23 gauze Simco cannula for removing the lens matter. And I find that the lens matter is coming very easily. There is no nucleus and everything is like soft cortical lens matter. We can use a bimanual irrigation aspiration also in such cases. It took some time for removal of this cortex. I was praying that the posterior capsule should remain intact. At this moment, I don't know whether the posterior capsule is also cut. Posterior capsule is also perforated or not by the injury. Fortunately, the posterior capsule was intact. So here, I had to struggle a bit to get the equatorial lens matter. Actually, there is a anterior capsular flap that is coming at the port, aspirating port and I had to overcome this tricky situation. And now the red glow is visible and I find that the posterior capsule is intact There are some big tags of anterior capsule. One is centered at 8 o'clock, another one at 4 o'clock, and another big tag is centered at 1 o'clock. So after polishing the posterior capsule as much as possible, I inject viscoelastic substance. This is HPMC. And I place the tags. in such a way that I can trim these tags. Now I take a vana scissor and make a cut at the edge of the tag which is centered at 8 o'clock. Here it is. And actually, this tag I have totally just cut with the Vana scissor. And now I make a small nick at the edge of the tag centered at 
on our clock. And now I take the utility of horseships. I hold this tag and tear it off. Now I make another cut at the tag centered at four o'clock. Take the utrita again and tear it off. And now uh, the case is ready for implantation of intraocular lens. Viscoelastic substance is injected again. Now I enlarge the wound a little bit because this is a multi-piece intraocular lens in a B cartridge. And here goes the intraocular lens. I'm placing the haptics behind the anterior capsular tags. That is, I want the haptics to be between anterior capsular remnant and the posterior capsule. In other words, I want it to be in the bag. Since the repair has been done only few days back, I'm not going to remove this suture at this stage. And now I am going to remove the viscoelastic substance. If this case had posterior capsular rent, the surgery would have been very difficult. In that case, I had to do anterior vitrectomy and fix the haptics intrasclerally. By this time the viscoelastic substance is almost cleaned nicely. Yes, it is nicely cleaned and the lens is nicely placed. I may have to do YAG laser capsulotomy in this case because I could not polish the posterior capsule very well. Now I'm using the bimanual irrigation aspiration for final cleaning of the viscoelastic substance. I made a small paracentesis at around 7 o'clock to remove the cortex from 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock. That's it. And now I just have to hydrate the wounds. I'm injecting an air bubble. This is just to buy some time. 
Now this is moxifloxacin. And now this is hydration of the stroma on either side of the wounds so that the wounds become waterproof. And this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. That's it. You just have to form the interchamber and conclude the case. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in managing traumatic cataracts.